Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So, in this one, I think I have sales between about the 20th of March and maybe the 28th, something like that. So I am a little bit behind, um, but the only reason for that is because I've been mega busy. I've got an eBay sale running in my store this week. You may know this if you follow me over on my Facebook page because I put a post over there. I think last Friday, something like that, last Saturday. So yeah, I have got a sale running, so that's going to mean, uh, well, it already is meaning quite a few sales every day, which is great. Um, but also that means the YouTube has got to take a bit of a backseat. Um, it means that I'm going to be slower on updating you guys on the sales I'm having because I'm actually busy fulfilling the orders. So, um, so yeah, this sales update will be just slightly behind, but hopefully as the weeks progress, we'll sort of catch up with ourselves. Um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to share with you is this next men's shirt. This was a dark red shirt. I picked up two next shirts in a charity shop for £2 each, just to sort of see. Because I've, I've seen a few people that have sold next shirts. Now, they are very bread and butter items, and um, I just thought, you know what, pay £2 for each of them. Let, let's see if I can get £10 plus postage. And sure enough, it must have been, I don't know, a week or... I don't know, one week, two days, something like that, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but yeah, one of them went for £10 plus postage, so I know that, you know, if it's a fairly alright shirt, you know, it's not some weird, crazy, horrible style or something that maybe no one wants, but if it's, you know, if it's a standard, fairly nice shirt, this one was sort of like, you could wear it for smart or you could wear it for casual. Um, and if it's a standard thing like that, I, I think I could achieve £10 plus postage. So, in future, in the charity shops, if I see them for a quid, you know, on the sale rail, then I'm going to pick them up because I know I can achieve that. Now, as I say, if it's some sort of weird, wacky style, I'm not sure. I mean, that might harm the price. Or, you never know, there might be that, you know, that niche market where it might mean the price goes up slightly. I don't know because... I'm still experimenting with clothes, but I think the, you know, the standard shirts will go for around that. So, yeah, happy with that, and it didn't take too long to go, so that was good. Um, next, I sold, well, not next, but, you know, it's not in chronological order or anything, but you know what I mean, next on the sales update. Next was this Coke, Coca-Cola bin. Uh, it was, well, not a bin, it was more of a, it was more of a storage tub and a seat. You could sit on the top of it. Um, and inside it was basically a storage bin or whatever, um, and you could put anything in there. You could put your laundry, you could put Coke cans if you wanted to store your Coke cans in there. You could put some other sort of Coke, but that's illegal, so we're not going to go into that. But yeah, you could put anything in there. You know what I mean? You could just put anything in there. You could use it for storing anything. So yeah, really cool item. As soon as I saw it in the charity shop, I was like, yes, I'm having that for 4 99 And I turned that into £30 plus postage. After maybe one cycle, one 30-day cycle, maybe just less. Um, so yeah, happy with that. It was a bit pack grow it wasn't great um it, yeah it just didn't um i didn't know how to pack it at first i was saying oh god how, how am i gonna pack this and then i sort of worked it out in my mind and sort of figured it out as i was sort of going going about it um but certainly as i say i sold it for 40 quid from a fiver but it did take me about half an hour to package up so it was a fair bit of time packaging it up but i think it's still worth it um, and I probably would get it again, but I think next time I'll be quicker at packaging it anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll find one of them again at some point in my reselling career. But yeah, quite a cool item. Next, I sold my first, I think this was my first pair of Levi's I sold. Um, £6.50, paid slightly more than I probably would in future. I would probably stick around the £5 mark for Levi's in future, but I paid £6.50 on this occasion because it was my first pair. Um, and I, I sold that for £20 plus postage. Probably, I would say, either the late on in the first cycle of 30 days or early on in the second cycle. So, you know, it's probably about a month to sell. 
Um, I think I got my pricing fairly accurate on that one. Um, but as I say, I'm still a bit new to clothing, so my pricing could be slightly out. Um, but I think I was fairly on point with that one. Um, suit carrier, I mean, if, if I got the Levi's for, say, like, £2, I'd probably price just a little bit lower and then get a quicker turnover. Um, but anyway, we'll move on. Uh, suit carrier, really good. These are to pick up if you see them. I've saw the Ted Baker one, and I've saw this Har Harvey... Oh, what is this one? Harvey Nichols, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, they are only bread and butter items. I think maybe if you got a real high high brand one or high class one, you might be able to get 20, 30 quid, something like that. Um, but I think Harvey Nichols isn't a bad brand, and I only got uh, 13 quid for this, so I don't know. Um, but I paid like one to two pound in a 10 pound job lot I got of a load of other bits and bobs. Um, and yeah, as I say, one to two quid into ten pound plus postage, just the standard bread and butter range for me, really. Um, but yeah, still happy with that. The pennies make up the pounds, and it all adds to the pot at the end of the day. Um, dress, the first dress went. The first dress, yes. Um, yeah, the one of the yeah the Escada one went. Not one of the Jaeger ones, but the Escada dress went. Paid six pound or thereabouts in the job lot. I think it was just less than six pound actually, but we're not going to go into pens figures. Um, so just under six pound paid, and I got twenty five pound plus postage. I would say second time round, so second you know second lot of thirty days. So happy with that. Can't complain. Uh, moving on, next to this Porsche magazine, I got a job lot ages ago for £1.50, a big stack of Porsche magazines. Um, oh my god, I must have cleared so much money on them now, including this sale, it must be like 150 quid out of a £1.50, so, or maybe even a little bit more. I've still got about two of them left, I might just clear them at a lower price. Um, but yeah, £30 plus postage, and as I say, cost is done, paid for, finito, so after postage and fees, that'll be all profit. So, yeah, that was a great pickup, and I really want to see some more of them, because they're just so easy to deal with, you know, to photograph, list, all that sort of stuff. Um, my first lot of Nike trainers went. Uh, paid £2 ages ago at a boot sale. I think it was a November or December boot sale of last year, I think. Um, I did do a haul video and these were in the haul video. Um, paid £2 and got £15 plus postage. Took the time to go, but I don't think these were like a real desirable high flying one. Um, or at least I don't think they are anymore. They might have been, at, at, you know, maybe a year or so ago whenever they came out, I don't know. But I don't think they were particularly now, so, or when they sold. So, yeah. Got £15 plus postage for them, nice sale at the end of the day, and glad I, I bought them and sort of took a punt on them at the time. Uh, the barber jumper went, I got £2 or £2.50 about two, three weeks ago, not long at all really. Um, and it went for nineteen ninety nine plus postage, so can't complain with that one, nice quick turnaround. Um, and again, it's more clothing out the door, which is great, and it gives me more, e each sale that I get, gives me more confidence to go out there and get more of it. Um, and that's what you want, really. You want to, when you jump into a new niche, I wouldn't advise people underselling things, but um, make sure your photos are good and all that sort of stuff, and you're pricing competitively, so that then they sell within a fairly good time frame, so that then you get that confidence booster, and you, you want to go out and get more of it and more of it, and you want to, to learn more about the niche. Um, because when you get a sale, especially on something that you're unconfident in, it really does help you out, and it just gives you that more, a uh, bit more confidence within the niche. So, yeah, that was great. Double. We're coming up to ten minutes, so I'll be quite quick with these last two. These are the better two sales um, of the sort of date range I've been uh, talking about. Um, doubling contribute boots. Got these maybe a month or two ago. Uh, again, not not a slow seller really. Uh, these went in my sale, uh, twenty percent off uh, at fifty two pound plus postage, and that was fine because I paid nineteen ninety nine anyway. So nineteen ninety nine into fifty pound plus postage, still that's fine. 
uh, good profit margin on them and just cool items something to look out for the Dublin brand yeah uh, it just says basically Dublin and then it has a little picture of a horse's head next to it the brand label if you want to know um, but yeah so that was great they were, and they were like mucking out boots horse riding boots they're not horse riding but like you know uh, stable boots that sort of that sort of area anyway or you could just you know country boots that sort of area um, but they're all great keywords as well. Um, yeah, and oh no, sorry, one more. Uh, Newmark, yeah, I thought I was missing one then. Uh, Newmark, because I've, I've got it all randomly mixed up on my pad today. Uh, Newmark, uh, what was this? A, like a pro DJ controller setup. I forgot, all I wrote down is Newmark. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see it there. Um, yeah, £35 paid not that long ago. Again, you'll be able to see it on one of my recent haul videos. Probably a haul video from three weeks ago. So really, you know, not that long uh, long to sell, really. Um, and I turned that into 99.95 plus postage. So yeah, great on that one. Really cool. Uh, really cool item. The only reason I picked it up is because one of my friends recently bought one and I, I knew that he had paid over a hundred for his so I thought used it's got to be some good money I researched it in the shop and yeah sure enough it was some good money so yeah that's why I picked that one up so that was great uh, so that that those uh, if I can even speak those are the sales that I will share with you today and I will update you with some more in the coming week so hit that like button if you did like it and throw me down a comment down below on whatever you think about these sales. Do you want to give me some hints and tips on um, listing clothing or keywords and things like that? I would really appreciate it. Um, or just anything you find, you know, interesting about this sales update, feel free to comment below. So, don't forget to subscribe as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys.